Adrian, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. If my voice sounds deep and deep because I'm fending off an illness, I have been for the last few days, but I'm here, so it's all good. So lately I've been doing a ton of aesthetic, iPhone app, arrangement, layout, customization type videos, and they have been popping off. Thank you, YouTube gods and you guys. You guys have really loved those, so I just figured what other videos can I make like this? And something really got me thinking, the word aesthetic for some reason is so popular right now, and it got me thinking how many different types of aesthetics there are out there. Vintage and retro and like pastel and girly and grungy and 90s and like neon and beachy, like all these different aesthetics. And I figured why not customize my iPhone background and apps per each aesthetic and show you guys so that you can mimic it or create your own if you would like. So basically here we have another aesthetic iPhone layouts, apps, customization that fit these different aesthetics. <laughs> but before we begin, go comment right now on my latest Instagram post and let me know which aesthetic is yours. Which one do you like the best? What's yours? Aesthetic. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first aesthetic we're gonna start out with is vintage or like visco girl. I hear a lot of people be like, I'm a visco queen. So like that's kind of the vibe we're gonna go for with this one, all right, okay? So basically what I like to do, step one, I like to pick out a wallpaper. So as you guys probably saw in my last video, I love to go on Pinterest. So then I just search vintage as Aesthetic. And as you can tell, this is just for you guys to get a sense of like different vibes. There's a lot of like orange, records, flowers, and kind of like old school like outfits. So basically, as I would scroll through here, things that I think are cute, I just save to my aesthetic iPhone wallpaper board, which I'll link down below if you guys want to check out what I've saved. I'm gonna go to my board. Basically, we're gonna do this in two parts. So step one is finding the wallpaper. Step two is customizing and laying out your apps the way you want. For the sake of this video, so it doesn't take 20 years, I'm just gonna be custom customizing like four apps at the very top. So just like this, I'm just gonna be customizing those four apps and the dock apps and that's it. All right, so there are two ways to kind of do this in my opinion. One is to have like a pretty busy background, like a lot going on, and to have more minimal icons. Another is to have a very minimal background and like very pattern and cool, fun photos for your icons. If you guys are confused, like, but how do I like customize my icons? Go check out my last video. I explain it 100%. I'm not gonna re-explain it in this video, but I'll show you like what I'm doing. But if you need the full details, click here down below and you We'll figure it out. So this is the first image that I'm gonna use for my background, this you and me kind of grainy picture. So I'm just clicking those three dots, downloading the image. Then I'm going to set this as my background, home screen. Okay, so then as you can see, that's my background. So I actually like the dock icons as they are, so I'm gonna customize these upper ones. So I'm going to save all the pictures that I know I wanna use. I have already pre-saved these onto this board, the ones that I'm gonna use. So all I really need to do is just save these to my camera roll. I'm using the records. I'm using the VHSs. I'm using the sunglasses, I think. And I'm using the Converse. Okay, so what you're gonna do is open up Shortcuts. It's an app that comes on your phone, iOS 12 or above. People in the comments kept saying 13, but I have iOS 12 and it works. Go into my listen. First, click the three dots, click on the settings, and then under icon, I'm gonna go to home screen and click select photo. We're gonna choose one of these. Okay, choose, done, add to home screen. Bam, add, and there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this pink one. So I'm just gonna go do that same thing for these three. All right, so there you have it. I actually think that looks so cool. So just imagine that you did like more apps than that or you could just keep it minimal like this. And then remember, these are shortcuts. So the only unfortunate thing is that when you click it, it's gonna take about three seconds to like go over to the calendar. Cause essentially what you're doing is you're just creating an app that's shortcutting to the app you want. So typically shortcuts are used for like things that take a long time. Like you wanna like immediately write an email to your grandma. The shortcut, you can just click the button and it'll already open an email to your grandma. It's kind of a redundant thing, but it looks really, really cool. 
And here I'm just going to show you another example of a really cute vintage one. As you can see, it's the more like busy background, minimal icons look. So remember, you can customize them however you want. If you're trying to add plain colors as your icons, like I was just doing, all I like to do is just Google like orange and click on images, find a color you like, press and hold to kind of bring up this uh, dialog box and then click save image and then do the same thing but just use the image you just saved of the color. So that's what I do. So that is the vintage aesthetic. Next we're going to talk about the grunge aesthetic, kind of grungy. Uh, I don't even know how to describe this. I guess we'll look at Pinterest and we'll see. <laughs> I feel like it's very dark and like kind of edgy and like bold. Yeah, so this is kind of the vibe as you can see. Ooh, these are cool. Real music is not on the radio. Grunge, I mean grunge, okay. So for this one, I chose the background that says we are all fools in love, if I can find it. So I'm just downloading that image. I think it's super cute and grungy, but like cute grungy, you know what I mean? Gonna make that my background. There we go. Also, I mean the icons that I just made like kind of work. So then I'm gonna go back and save the images that I want for my icons. I chose this one this one i kind of went with like the black and white patterned theme this one this one and then just like before go into your shortcuts i feel like i should do this off camera because this is a big old waste of time so be right back so here's the grunge one but what i noticed is that these dock icons in orange don't really fit the mood so we're gonna go back to shortcuts i'm gonna show you how to switch these around so we're gonna go to those ones that are in the dock so messages and we're gonna do the same thing but instead of like switching it to a picture you can switch it to a picture i'm just gonna switch it to let's see probably gray or red maybe gray add to home screen so you're doing the same exact thing and then you're just pulling this orange one out putting this one in and that's how you customize those back to just the colors and the icons so the second grunge wallpaper I chose was this one and I actually customized my own background by saving this image, going over to Instagram, then going to my camera roll and copying it and then going over to Instagram, going to a story, making the background whatever I wanted and then pasting this as an image. And then I basically just took the little pen on Instagram stories and kind of drew behind it. And I think it looks really, really cute. And then I basically just took these black and white patterns and made them my icons. And I thought it looked really cute and grungy and kind of, I don't know, just cool. Okay, the next aesthetic, I don't really know what to call it, but it's like beachy, chill, like lots of blues, water, just like chill vibes, okay? When I searched beach aesthetic, I found a lot of like bright colors, a lot of sand, beachy things. I love the surfboards. So the first background that I used was this collage. It just felt like a very beachy, like orange and teal kind of collage. And then for my icons, I just chose plain colors. So here I just like basically pulled colors from this collage and I thought it looked really cute. And then the next beachy one that I did was kind of a different vibe. This one was also like kind of minimal. So another collage that I found on Pinterest and then for my icons, I did the same thing on Instagram stories where I made the background white and then I added the numbers 201 and 9 separately, saved them so that it's kind of cute. It says 2019 on my icons, which I just thought was creative. You could do this with any four letter word or design. You could say calm or I don't know if your name has four letters, you could do that. And remember you guys, you can make your own collages like this as well. And then the next beachy background that I did was just this picture of a wave that I also got on Pinterest. And then I made the icons each these little like surfboards a girl on a skateboard these like signs and some sand so i thought that looked really really cute and these images i all got on pinterest okay the next aesthetic is like artsy i've heard people on youtube call it like an art hoe guys i'm too old for this i don't i don't know what that is but when i searched it this is what came up we got a lot of like artsy things a lot of flowers a lot of paints a lot of buttons and yellows and oranges a lot of socks i don't know why but it's kind of a cute little vibe so i saved some of my favorite ones and first i created this background that's like this cute picture of a girl wearing doc martens and it has like little flowers coming out of it and i just made my icons plain colors in the shortcuts app i kind of just did the colors that sort of fit that scheme so that was the first one i did and then the next one i did was the same exact icons but with this image with kind of paints and records and i feel like that is very artsy like that whole background is just very artsy so the next aesthetic is like minimalist so this just means very simple a lot of blacks and white neutral colors gray very simple designs and patterns nothing too crazy so when i look on pinterest these are the types of things that come up a lot again very just simple things the first one i chose was this sleigh little like 
RGB icon situation and I just made all my icons teal because I wanted there to be some color so I thought that was really cute it is very minimal even though there's color on it next I just took this star and black and white background and kept the same icons so another minimal look and lastly I took this black and white checkerboard and made it the same. I feel like the minimal vibe like helps me not feel stressed out. The next aesthetic is like pastel slash girly. Um, so this is a lot of bright colors, pinks, or like not bright, but pastel-y pinks, blues, clouds, puffy things. I think of like Gabby DiMartino when I think of this aesthetic. It's so not my aesthetic, but like some people like it. So that's totally cool. So first I just chose this pool wave type background again from Pinterest. And then I made my icons each little like pastel design. So I have some milkshakes, clouds, some succulents, and like a Ferris wheel thing. And then next I made this background on Instagram stories again. I think this one looks really, really cute actually. Like even though it's not my aesthetic, I would totally rock this as my background. I think it's super cute. So yeah. And then the last aesthetic, I mean, there are so many more that I could go on and on and on, but the last one I'm gonna talk about is called Vaporwave. It's also like neon, a lot of kind of video game vibes, steampunk, cyberpunk, whatever you wanna call it. A whole lot of purples and pinks, a lot of neon, like I said. And the backgrounds that I created are this one, which I actually really like. I think this background's so cool. It looks like that's Homer Simpson, like stargazing. <laughs> And then I just made these icons all like neon things. I think that's just honestly really cool. So those are all my aesthetic backgrounds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Leave me other suggestions for like aesthetic phone or other types of videos. Cause these ones do really well. You guys seem to love them. So I want to make more, but I don't want to run out of ideas. So let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.